Hi children, in this video we learn about uh, taxonomical aids. What is a taxonomical aid? Why we need taxonomical aid? And what are the different types of uh, taxonomical aids like herbarium, botanical gardens, zoological parks, museum, key. These are the five things mentioned in your uh, um, books. So we need to learn few things about uh, these uh, categories. What is uh, and why we need taxonomic aid? Why we need taxon? Because uh, taxonomic studies for taxonomic studies for by bi biologists. For example, you become a biologist, and how you will learn about uh, dinosaurs or uh, some other uh, insects? You can't go to forest and you can't uh, get that particular insect to learn about all the characteristics of uh, that particular insect. For example, you, ha you have grown up, you become a biologist. Then uh, you want to study about a particular insect. How to study that? It's not possible. But if there is a aid like museums, parks, gardens, botanical gardens, insect, uh, uh, like different uh, aids or the taxon aids, biologists maintain them for uh, future purposes useful in different areas like agriculture, forestry, industries uh, to uh, preserve the bio resources, to explore uh, bio, um, biodiversity, to, um, to classify the biological organisms, to do so many things we need to have biological aids. Taxonomic studies for example includes identification and classification. You know this I mentioned in the previous video what is the taxonomic, uh, how taxonomic uh, uh, categories evolved and uh, so they for identification you need to have keep them in the laboratory for field studies so that you need to collect the specimens and store them in a proper place that is what is uh, like for example herbarium what is herbarium it is a storehouse of collected plant specimens like for example you will have uh, some sheets like this okay some sheets like this and you will have if you for example you found a, a different leaf that is uh, then we'll uh, we tie it like this we dry them after drying and we then we'll keep and label label description description botanical name scientific name all these things mentioned the like this we'll keep so many things in a library like uh, herbarium that is called a herbarium it is a uh, properly placed in a particular place like this a huge collection of uh, these uh, collected plant specimens later these sheets are arranged in a systematic manner the next one is botanical gardens what is a botanical garden it is a collection of living plants it is a garden but uh, it is for botanical purpose so bota for bo biologists for botanical uh, studies that's why it is called botanical gardens it is a collection of living plants for reference plants grown in their gardens for identification purposes they uh, for example they they raise the plants uh, uh, in the fields uh, and each plant is identified with a label what is the name of the plant local name scientific name and uh, family all these mentioned on the plant okay each plant is labeled that is the main difference between normal uh, uh, gardens and botanical gardens in botanical garden each plant is identified labeled with botanical name scientific name uh, date of uh, uh, sowing and everything whatever the details possible that's why it is called uh, botanical gardens like for example key england there is a uh, botanical garden famous botanical garden and this this is important from your examination point of view what are the indian botanical garden aura india ibz for example they give different where it exists aura india a national botanical research institute nbri nbri lucknow india try to remember these two names indian botanical garden aura and national botanical research institute lucknow these two are very very important from your competitive exams point of view 
what is a botanical garden it is a collection of living plants for reference and each plant is labeled that is what is a botanical garden the next one is a museum you might have visited in your life uh, some museums it is a collection of uh, previous things uh, general museums articles like this if it is a, a plant museum generally preserved uh, plants and animal specimens this is you need to remember museums in museums uh, uh, collection of plants and animal specimens for study and reference that is what is the aid uh, what is any taxonomical aid or anything generally specimens are uh, uh, they keep in bottles for example they keep in what they they keep uh, they, 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 they pour some solution and uh, place the insect insects like this they keep they keep it. otherwise a uh, dried specimen generally um, like uh, herbarium kind of thing generally plant specimens we dry them and uh, we keep uh, that is a uh, dried specimens and preserved with solutions uh, like insects skeletons M what museum includes museum includes insects specimens and all those things next zoological parks definitely almost uh, uh, children love visiting zoological parks similarly simply called zoos zoo places where wild animals wild animals are uh, kept or raised or grown wild animals like uh, elephants uh, tigers uh, um, camels different kind where uh, zoological based on the zoological park and uh, this is important similar conditions to their natural habitats are provided in the zoological parks the next one is key what is a key it is a analysis so analytically nature comparison we will take two characters useful identification of plants and animals based on similarities and dissimilarities what is a couplet couplet is a pair of contrasting characters a pair of uh, contrasting characters like uh, we take two characters two characters are uh, taken and uh, they are opposite characters between two opposite options so that we can compare easily and acceptance of one character and rejection of another character that is what is key key means it is a based on couplet based on two characters one is acceptance and one is rejection based on those two characters organisms are identified organisms are studied categorized something like that this that is what is called key you have seen uh, these are what are the different types of uh, herbarium it is a collection of uh, plant specimens in a sheet herbarium sheet and they are preserved in a particular order and botanical gardens plants labeled specialized gardens and a museum we keep specimens plants and animal species in preserved uh, in bottles or dried specimens parks wild animals wild animals these are specimens you need to remember these words gardens specialized gardens labels are important and herbarium sheets we maintain herbarium on sheet preservatives are maintained and key to count couplet two contrasting characters two contrasting characters are taken this is very very important i hope you learned something in this video see you then